Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine. Since at the end of every single video I do, I ask for your suggestions and for what videos you'd like to see. A few people have been asking to see my kind of everyday makeup routine. I just really do want to stress that I do not think I'm some sort of makeup artist. I really, really don't. This is not me kind of preaching how you should do your makeup. This is just what I personally do for my face that just works for me. I really, really do not wear makeup every day. If you're part of my family, if you're my friends, you'll know that I'm normally looking like a slob with absolutely no makeup on my face. When I do need to wear makeup or feel like I want to wear, wear a bit of makeup, this is the makeup routine that I do and it's pretty much the same every single time. I really hope you enjoy this video and I'm just going to get straight on with it. Here she comes walking down the street. <laughs> Greetings everyone. Um, Welcome back to my channel, looking slightly different. <laughs> so I'm just starting off with putting some mint Carmex on my lips because I get very dry, crusty, musty, dusty lips. So I always put on a lip balm just so we can whack up some moisture up in there because the lighting has definitely just changed. I'm so bad with camera technology, I actually just, just bear with me, just bear with me. So I'm using the Smashbox Photo, I think it's the Photo Finish Primer. I actually got given this in a little goodie bag from Quiz and I'd actually run out of primer at that point. I don't think I was even using primer. Sometimes I don't use primer, I only use it like when I have one in my makeup bag. So moving on to foundation. For my everyday kind of foundation, I do tend to still go quite full coverage. The two foundations that I use and mix together is the Maybelline True Super Stay 24 hour full coverage foundation. And then this foundation here, which I don't think many of you will have heard of, um, but it is the HD Brows foundation so it's by the brand HD Brows. My friend Ella actually introduced me to this and did my makeup with it once and ever since then I've literally not wanted to use another foundation. Once I've got that on the back of my hand I just take my Real Techniques sponge and kind of just swizzle it all together and then I just tap it onto my face. For anyone thinking, oh my gosh, she's literally painting her face by orange, I know this foundation is a lot darker than my actual face colour, but my face has always been very pale, unless I have like a really dark natural tan, um, I always have a really pale face, so I always have to make my face kind of blend in with the rest of my body. And she sounded like it was landing on top of my house. For concealer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I've been using for absolutely ages now. I literally love this concealer so, so much. I know this is quite a lot of concealer, and people are probably going to be shaking in their graves right now. I really don't wear makeup every day. Like, I really, really don't. I'd probably say, like, three days a week I wear makeup. I've just popped it on my chin, under my eyes, and my forehead, on my nose, all the obvious places where you put concealer, and I've also put a little dot on each of my eyes just to sort of like prime them. Because I'm literally in the gym like every day, even if I do wear makeup, I literally have never have it on my face for more than like a few hours. It's literally just press it into the skin where it is just so that the concealer doesn't move around my face. If I was like going on a night out, which never ever happens, but if I am going on a night out, I use the Laura Mercier powder to like bake underneath my eyes. But just on like an everyday um, kind of makeup, I use this section of the Marc Jacobs little contour powder set thing. But what I like about this powder is that like when you just tap it in a little bit, loads comes off. So it's like quite pigmented. Brush that underneath my eyes and just in like all the places where I popped my concealer. Now that is extremely clean. Close, isn't it? Hi everyone. <laughs> I've just recently, well recently I say yesterday, I bought the Soap and Glory um, Brow Archery. That's definitely not going to focus. The reason I got a new brow pencil is because I'm still struggling to find a brow pencil that is like the right shade for my eyebrows. I'll probably speed this bit up because it's going to be a bit boring. Then once my eyebrows are filled in kind of badly, just use this brow gel from Max Factor, which is in like a literally a clear colour. Run this through my brows just to, as I said, spike them up at the top a little bit and just set them in place so they won't move anywhere. To do my everyday eyeshadow, I use this Huda Beauty palette here. This is what it looks like inside. It literally has the nicest colours. I just start off with this white colour here. It's like white creamy colour. Just like brush that all over my eyelid just to kind of like set the concealer in place. The next colour I use is this brown shade here in the middle blend that through my crease. I literally hate using this terminology because I feel like it's gonna make people think that I think I know what I'm talking about. I take this orange shade at the top here from the palette and then I pretty much just do the same with this color. I put it more like at the start of my eye than the out of my eye and then just kind of like blend it out. If that makes sense with the other color, I kind of just like swipe it all the way across. For my eye color personally, orangey like brown shades are much better for me. The last two colors I take from this palette um, on a different brush, this is just like a little smaller brush here. Um, I take a dab of this red one and and then a dab of this like darker brown one. And with those two, I literally just put them like right in the center, really gently kind of like blend that out. So once my eyeshadow 
eyeshadow is kind of done. I take the same orange shade on the smaller brush and then I just run that. It's going to be kind of hard to show because I'm going to like tilt my head down. But I just literally run that through my lower lash line. I only do this like a tiny, tiny bit. I don't like a lot of eyeshadow on my lower lash. Kind of like also join it to like the out part of my upper eyeshadow. I just take any like brown pencil that I have in my makeup bag. This one is really blunt. Um, and I just literally put that in my waterline and I just feel like a brown pencil for brown eyes is better it's just a bit more flattering on brown eyes at the moment I'm using the bad girl bang mascara from um, benefit and I absolutely love this mascara I just start by cutting my eyelashes and then I just pop loads of mascara on top of that and do like three or four layers but I'm just gonna speed this up I'm sure you all probably know how to do mascara <laughs> contour for my face I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and this is the powder one so not the cream one I don't really tend to use cream contour um because I think that would actually be a disaster for me for this I literally just like brush together the like grey shade and then this one here I don't know what how you describe them but I just kind of like swizzle them together and then I just kind of like put contour in the normal place that you put it but I can't really talk for this because I kind of like pull a, pull a face for it so just like give me a sec I don't have like majorly defined bone structure, so I always like to contour just to kind of bring out um, the little amount that I have. Just swipe it along my jawline as well, just to kind of add some definition to that baby. I do have quite a large forehead, so I always, always contour my forehead just to kind of smaller it a little bit. Bronzer, I use my all time favourite bronzer which is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. Just take a few taps of this on my brush because it is so pigmented and I just pop that all over my cheeks. And this, honestly, if you're looking for a new bronzer and wanna like spoil yourself a little bit and buy a little bit more of a pricey one, this is, this bronzer, oh, I love it so much. Then I tap my brush in it a tiny, tiny bit and I just pop a little bit on my nose. Again. I know this has kind of got a shimmer to it, so this is probably technically wrong putting it in like the places where you contour, but screw it. Who actually cares? Who needs to follow the makeup rules? I'm just using the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush. So I, do like, I do like a little smile. I love this blush so, so much, and I never ever used to wear blush, but now blush is like one of my favourite parts of makeup. For lips, I'm just going to be using this lip liner. This is a Rimmel one, it's called A Thousand Kisses. I also like filling the centre with it as well because um, I'm not going to be putting on a lipstick, I'm just going to be putting on lip gloss. Then the lip gloss that I'm absolutely loving and I've been using every single day is this Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Um, this is the best lip gloss ever, it's literally so so smooth, it is the nicest colour. The final step I'm going to do is just take this Fenty Beauty highlighter and just pop that down the centre of my nose, in the corners of my eyes, my cute little thigh the tiniest tiniest little brush on the tops of my cheekbones I don't really like wearing that much highlight I don't know why I just don't my camera is flashing red so I need to get this done but this is the finished look I really hope you enjoyed this video as I said at the start of this video and pretty much all the way through this video I'm really not a makeup artist never will be one never ever gonna think I am one um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video me doing my little everyday makeup look. If you do have any other video suggestions that you'd like me to do, as always, I must say it, please comment them down below um, because I am listening, I am looking at them. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, please do. I really appreciate anyone that subscribes so, so much and hopefully I will see you all in my next video.